Hello everybody, today we will talk about 15 classic radiological signs in cardiovascular system. 1. Water bottle sign. It is represented by the shape of the cardiac silhouette on erect frontal chest x-rays in patients who have a very large pericardial effusion. The effusion has accumulated over many weeks to months and the pericardium has gradually stretched. The fluid, often measuring a liter or more, causes the pericardium to sag, mimicking an old-fashioned water bottle sitting on the bench. 2. Box-shaped heart sign. The right atrium may be huge and fill the entire right hemithorax. The left atrium is normal in size, but the left cardiac contour has a shelved appearance because of the dilated right ventricular outflow tract. The aorta is small, and the pulmonary trunk, which normally appears as a discrete convex bulge, is absent. This combination of features produces a cardiac silhouette forms to shape of a box. Epstein anomaly is the only cyanotic congenital malformation of the heart in which both the aorta and the pulmonary trunk are smaller than normal. It is characterized by the downward displacement of the septal leaflets and posterior leaflets of the tricuspid valve into the inflow portion of the right ventricle. This displacement results in the formation of a common right ventriculotrial chamber and causes tricuspid regurgitation. Insufficiency of the tricuspid valve leads to dilatation of the right ventricular outflow tract and all proximal right heart structures, which in turn leads to even greater tricuspid insufficiency. The right atrium becomes enlarged and a right to left shunt, through a patent foramen of alley or atrial septal defect. The pulmonary flow may vary from normal to borderline to diminished. If it is normal, the patient is usually acyanotic. If it is borderline or diminished, the patient is usually cyanotic. 3. Figure of 3 and reverse figure of 3. On frontal chest radiographs, the figure 3 is formed by dilatation of the left subclavian artery and aorta proximal to the site of coarctation, indentation of the site, and dilatation of the aorta distal to the site. The aortic segment affected by coarctation has a shape that resembles the number 3. The reverse figure of 3 sign, a mirror image of the number 3, is observed on the left anterior oblique view during barium esophagography in patients with aortic coarctation. 4. Boot shaped heart. On chest radiographs, the heart has the shape of a wooden shoe or boot. This deformity is due to uplifting of the cardiac apex because of right ventricular hypertrophy and concavity of the main pulmonary artery. The shadow of the pulmonary arterial trunk is almost invariably absent, and blood flow to the lungs is usually reduced. The right ventricular infundibulum often forms a slight bulge in the upper left heart border, while the middle left heart border is usually concave. The four established components of tetralogy of Fallot include a. Ventricular septal defect b. Infundibular pulmonary stenosis c. Overriding aorta d. Right ventricular hypertrophy The embryologic origin of this syndrome results from a single defect, an anterior malalignment of the conal septum, which in turn causes ventricular septal defect right ventricular outflow tract obstruction, and overriding aorta. 5. Egg on a string sign. The cardiovascular silhouette varies from normal in the first few days after birth to enlarged and globular, with a classic appearance described as an egg on a string. The right atrial border is abnormally convex, and the left atrium commonly is enlarged because of increased pulmonary blood flow. The appearance of the enlarged heart at chest radiography also has been likened to the profile of an egg on its side, it is seen in transposition of the great arteries, the most common cyanotic congenital heart lesion found in neonates, infants of diabetic mothers. 6. Snowman sign. The dilated vertical vein on the left, the anominate vein on the top, and the superior vena cava on the right form the head of the snowman, the body of the snowman is formed by the enlarged right atrium. Seen in total anomalous pulmonary venous return, taper. It occurs when the pulmonary veins fail to drain into the left atrium and instead form an aberrant connection with some other cardiovascular structure. 7. Scimitar sign, IT is produced by an anomalous pulmonary vein that drains any or all of the lobes of the right lung. The so-called scimitar vein curves outward along the right cardiac border, usually from the middle of the lung to the cardiophrenic angle and usually empties into the inferior vena cava but also may drain into the portal vein, 
hepatic vein, or right atrium. The characteristic appearance of the vein has led to its comparison to a scimitar, a sword with a curved blade that traditionally was used by Persian and Turkish warriors. Scimitar syndrome occurs almost exclusively on the right side. The scimitar vein is one of the components of scimitar syndrome, which is characterized by the following additional features. A. Hypoplasia of the right lung with dextroposition of the heart. B. Hypoplasia of the right pulmonary artery. C. Anomalous arterial supply of the right lower lobe from the abdominal aorta. 8. Gooseneck sign. This sign is visible at left ventricular angiography, is caused by an endocardial cushion defect. The endocardial cushion normally forms the lower portion of the atrial septum, the upper portion of the interventricular septum, and the septal leaflets of the mitral valve and the tricuspid valve. The gooseneck shaped deformity and endocardial cushion defect is caused by a deficiency of both the conus and sinus portions of the interventricular septum, with narrowing of the left ventricular outflow tract. The concavity of the interventricular septum below the mitral valve, along with the elongation and narrowing of the left ventricular outflow tract, produces a characteristic shape that's been compared to a sitting goose with an elongated neck on the anteroposterior projection in left ventricular angiography. 9. Double density sign. On frontal chest radiograph in the presence of left atrial enlargement, and occurs when the right side of the left atrium pushes behind the right cardiac shadow, indenting the adjacent lung and forming its own distinct silhouette. 10. Earth heart sign. This sign may be seen on chest radiographs of patients with tension pneumomediastinum. The substantial pressure exerted on the heart by the air trapped in mediastinum with subsequent impairment of central venous return and obstruction of diastolic filling may lead to a flattening of the cardiac silhouette resembling the effects of spinning for millions of years of our globe leading to an oblate spheroid, i.e. the earth heart sign. 11. Napkin ring sign. The sign refers to cross-section of a coronary artery showing luminal narrowing by a low attenuating eccentric structure, also called circumferentially extensive necrotic core, that is surrounded by a thin ring-like hyperattenuating rim and may represent indirect evidence of the aforementioned thin, vulnerable cap. Rupture-prone plaque in a coronary artery, comprising a necrotic core covered by a thin cap, cap thickness less than 65 m, also referred to as so-called thin cap fibrotheroma, TCFA. While the cap itself is too thin to be depicted by non-invasive imaging techniques including CT, the necrotic core may be visible on thin sections, less than 0.6 mm, of modern coronary CTA. This image shows, a, an atherosclerotic plaque with PR, lap, and a napkin ring sign in the proximal left anterior descending artery on coronary CTA. b, total occlusion of the proximal left anterior descending artery causing acute myocardial infarction, by invasive coronary angiography 10 months after coronary CTA, arrows. C and D, coronary CTA images show an atherosclerotic plaque with PR, lap, and a napkin ring sign in the proximal right coronary artery, which was completely occluded one year later, arrows. The boxed area in A and C indicates cross-sectional images of atherosclerotic plaque showing a napkin ring sign. CTA equals computed tomography angiography, LAP equals low attenuation plaque, PR equals positive remodeling. 12. Schmoo sign. This sign refers to appearance of prominent, rounded left ventricle and dilated aorta on a plain AP radiograph of chest giving the appearance of Schmoo, a fictional cartoon character in the comic strip Little Abner in the 1940s. This sign indicates left ventricular hypertrophy. 13. Walking man sign. Results from posterior displacement of the left main bronchus such that it no longer overlaps the right bronchus. The left and right bronchus thus appear as an inverted V, thus mimicking the legs of a walking man. Seen in left atrial enlargement. 14. Armored heart sign. The armored heart represents the appearance of the heart in calcified constrictive pericarditis. The pericardium becomes circumferentially thickened with calcification, limiting the ability of the heart to contract. The rim of dense calcification describes how the heart is armored, in the manner a military vehicle is. 15. Cobweb sign. Slender linear areas of low attenuation specific to the false lumen due to residual ribbons of media that have incompletely sheared away during the dissection process. Specific sign for the false lumen. 
This image shows collagenous media remnants, cobwebs, are only seen in the false lumen. The same holds true for thrombus material. This is the end of our lecture. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more videos.